Snow runner on hard mode. You know what I just thought of? I thought of a couple things. First of all, since we cannot really sell our trailers, and I don't even believe we can sell the tra trailers that we buy, logging is pretty much a huge investment on hard mode for all maps that we do. Push this stupid thing out of the way. got the P-16 out of Drummond Island. By the way, Drummond Island is the most annoying, dumbest map that I can think of. The way it's designed. Let's watch that trailer fall. Nope, it's not going to fall. I really don't care about that trailer or those service spare parts. Since we cannot sell trailers on hard mode, I really don't care about it, and it's in the way. It was put there by the game, by the way. So what I'm doing, I'm driving back to the Smithfield Dam garage to upgrade this P-16 so that I can come back, travel down this road here, follow this through the swamp. That's why I need to upgrade it, give it some better tires, possibly a better engine, I don't know yet. And then keep going. There's the gateway to Island Lake. I have my Chevy CK 1500 exploring right now. All the way down here to the repair truck task. Which I believe is a really nice truck. I can't think of the name of it right now, but I want it. And I have the repair trailer that I want to use up here, which I brought from Drummond Island. Let's, let's look at Drummond Island. Okay, let's do that. Drummond Island is a complete nightmare because for the P-16, it's a bull in a china shop, so to speak. You, everybody who ha is wondering where it's at, it's over here. And you need a scout to find it. It is possible to do it with a big off-road truck, but it's very difficult. So what you do is you find, find it with a scout. You start up here, which is the entrance, or you can go from down here. Either way, this way is probably easier, but it's more tough to reach. Let me think, yeah. D you know, I don't know, it's probably both. Whatever, I'll show you where that is at in a moment. And then you go this way, this bridge is not fixed. I fixed this bridge. But if it's basically with an off-road truck, you go this way, you come up here and you find it, it's over here. You drive it, you fixed, I fixed two bridges, this one and this one. Ten hut, I didn't fix. Wanna know why? I'll tell you. Because it's basically a wild goose chase, Drummond Island, for lack of a better word. I don't wanna say any cuss words, but I can think of plenty. Plenty of curse words for this for this big mess of a map where you have to double back with the P16 back and forth, doubling back, go this way, then you gotta go this way, then you gotta go this way, then you gotta go this way to get some metal beams, which I think are in Island Lake. So, I did, I, I, I basically fixed two bridges, grabbed the giant um, semi-trailer that is right here. taking it with me. I want the fuel. And I've got the original GMC truck for that. Which is nice. It does really nice, even though it doesn't have the all-wheel drive yet. It's got the best engine for it and chained tires. So I want to take this to the garage and upgrade it before I come back to get the... to, to complete the task mission, which is repair the truck. Oh yes, and I was going to show everybody the repair the truck mission here, and then this is to Island Lake, which then, I don't know, you have to go through Island Lake, you need you need a pretty, pretty powerful truck to get through all that, but Island Lake does have plenty of fuel tankers on the way. Right now, here's my GMC sitting right here, right next to another fuel carrier. 
then I believe the entrance to Drummond Island from there, or I'm sorry, Smithfield Dam is somewhere over here, I think. And then to Drummond Island, if you come from Smithfield Dam, where the repair truck task mission is, that I just showed you all, then you go to Drummond Island, but you gotta go through all this swampy mess, so you get you need a pretty good truck to do all that. But it's not gonna, of course, be a scout truck, it's gonna be a powerful truck that has can attach a trailer to fix the mess that is Drummond Island. And once again, I hate I'm never coming back to Drummond Island. Even though I only have two out of the three, I don't know if Drummond Island is necessary. If it is, maybe then I will be forced to come back to complete the drilling operation. I don't know. I really don't know, and I don't care. I, there's plenty of other content that I can work on. Plus, Phase 6, or Season 6, has now come out. I need to buy the Season 2 pass. Or, I mean, I'm not the Season 2. The second year Season Pass going to invest in that. I, th I believe it's it's nice at about, I think it's like 26 bucks. Totally worth it. I like this game, so I am going to purchase it. I pre-ordered this game way back when it first came out. Played the game for a week and then put it down. Now, just recently in the last five or six weeks, I started playing it, and it's fun. On hard mode. Not the regular mode. I played the regular mode for like six days. We got Drummond Island. Middle finger. Big giant middle finger to you. Goodbye. I'm moving out. But let's go to back to the P-16. Which I am in. We'll drive it to the garage. And it's dark out. So I'll drive in first person. Plus, it's, the engine noise isn't so loud either. I can talk more. I don't have to yell. Now, let's talk about logging on hard mode. Since we cannot sell trailers and we cannot take trailers with us, and I believe even trailers we buy, we cannot sell. I haven't really tested that yet, but I believe that is the correct assumption. In order, in order to do logging, since we cannot... You know, on the regular version, you sell a trailer, you get the exact same money back you bought it for. You can sell trailers, all the trailers you want, on the regular version of this game. On hard mode, you cannot. So, with that being said, every map that I would have to go to, I would have to invest $28,000, maybe even more, to do log and logs, to do logging. Now, the missions better be more than the total, because I, I believe medium logs cannot fit on a long log invested trailer. You buy, you buy the medium one, which is 14000 then you buy the long attachment. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, then you would just uninstall the long one. Okay, so it, it's only it's 28000 per map on hard mode. I guess I better buy a trailer at, at the garage that I'm heading to just to see if I can or cannot. I'll buy a cheap one. Whether or not I use it, I don't know. It's, it's going to be for a test. So logging, I don't know if logging is worth it on hard mode. It's just a big bothersome mess. That needs to be addressed, I believe, in my opinion. But that could all change. I know if we sell vehicles we buy, we only get half back. If we buy trailers, do we get half back? You know, I don't know. Also, we can, we're going to take a look at all the cool upgrades that the P-16 has. I am rank, rank 19, so it shouldn't really be a problem. I should be able to upgrade all the possible upgrades. Then I'm going to come back, drive back all this way. and rescue that awesome truck, repair it, which I believe and then I get to keep it. And I believe it's, it's one of the best trucks for starting out. Now, I don't do mods on hard mode. That's my personal choice. I know it can be done. Mod trucks, that is, made by actual players, which is cool. Some people do on mod do that, do, do that on hard mode. There's the quarry. Forget the quarry. I will not be coming back to that. It's it's just too too dangerous. 
the recovery fees are just not worth it. Forget the quarry. Big middle finger to the quarry. So as we drive, let's just think about stuff to talk about. On hard mode. Hard mode is more fun. It completely turns this game on its head, so to speak. It's a completely different game. Just like Seasons is a completely different game compared to the regular version of Farming Simulator 19. For those that play Farming Simulator 19, let's talk about that for a minute. Just briefly, I want to touch on the DLC Precision Farming somehow got deleted from all of my saved games because my system storage for mods in the Mod Hub got corrupted because it was too close to the 100% maximum. That's my theory, because I was in the mod hub when it happened. Like I say, DLCs cannot be deleted there either, but they're just selected for Farming Simulator 19. And I apologize for those that don't play Farming Simulator 19. Like I say, I'm just going to talk about it briefly. Another, another minute and I'll be done. So the DLC Farming Simulator, from Simulator, Farming Simulator 19, the Precision Farming DLC got deleted, de res just like out of the movie Tron, from all of my saved games. I quit playing that game. It's a fun game. I have a lot of videos on my channel about it. A lot of Farming Simulator 19 health guides. If you enjoy that game. I did enjoy it. It is a fun game. Okay, back to let's talk about Snowrunner on hard mode. Logging per map is an investment of 28000 and then And then you have to make your money back. And there better be enough timber missions logging missions to be worth it. Me, I personally have not done any logging missions yet, and I don't believe I ever am going to, unless, unless that's all there else is to do, and I'm waiting for the next phase, like phase 7 and 8, etc. What? There is so much content in this game, I'm glad I waited over a year and a half to come back to this game, because there's so much more content now, a lot of the bugs and quirks and glitches were been taken out. It's kind of a happy accident that I that I took a break from SnowRunner back when it first released. I got the pre-order edition. I put the game down, but I didn't delete the game because I knew it in the back of my mind I would eventually come back to this game. And it's it's kind of ironic that it took Farming Simulator 19 somehow accidentally glitching out and deleting my Precision Farming DLC, which it's not supposed to do. DLCs cannot be deleted, they are simply either selected or not selected from your maps. That's how DLCs work. Whatever, it's, it's definitely a glitch. I did document it, there are two videos on my channel about it. But back to SnowRunner again. Drive into the garage, slowly but surely. spread around whatever I need them for. I believe these were for Drummond Island, so I, I actually could come, come back to Drummond Island if I want to. For right now, forget it. The P-16 is basically a bull in a china shop on Drummond Island. It's way too easy for it to tip somewhere and fall. And you either have another really, really strong vehicle, a big vehicle, to upright your P-16 it's an $8,000 recovery fee all the way back to Smithfield Dam, and then you have to make the drive back to Drummond Island, and then you need to fuel for it. Are you kidding me? Drummond Island is too dangerous for this big, giant beast of a machine to be wandering around in. Forget it. It kind of it, it upsets me that that's, that's what they do for us. It's, it's like Drummond Island was put there on purpose to try to get us to rage quit this game. $8,000 recovery fee, and if you play the normal version, of course, the recovery fee is free. But it's going to teleport you back here? Sorry, I'm yelling. Then you have to make all the big, long drive? Maybe on hard mode, that's okay. 
mean, I mean, the regular mode, I'm sorry, the regular mode, that's okay, but on hard mode? Not worth it. Drummond Island is these tiny little roads where there's cliffs, so many, so many spots where the P-16 can just tip over and fall on its side or fall on its back, or I'm sorry, fall on its top so that its bottom is facing up. you have to, which I did actually do once. I did it once. I documented it. It's on one of my videos in my channel. I had to go to Alaska, find the CAT 745C, use it in Alaska for when I'm, for whatever, as long as I needed to, and then I retained it in the garage in Alaska, and then spent 3500 bucks to bring it here to Smithfield Dam, and I bought the fuel tanker, and I got it from Alaska, so it was basically free fuel, drove all the way from here to Drummond Island so that it was a heavy enough vehicle to upright my P-16, which fell. And there was probably about four more instances where I almost tipped over again. It's too risky. Drummond Island is too risky. I fixed two bridges and said, I'm out of here. I started to weigh the results, and I thought, nope, too risky to continue. I'm moving on. Here we are. This is the main point of this video. I want to see... Oh, I can upgrade it to this one. Now, I haven't found this yet. Somewhere in Alaska it is, and I don't know. I've pretty much explored all of Alaska, but, of course, obviously I haven't, because I've, I've found all the watchtowers in Alaska, and so far the upgrade has eluded me. So I could pay a little bit more money and get the uh, power to weight up. That's a nice step, and I think I, I, think I just might. Right now, my balance is $83,234. That's not very much. Once you run out of money in hard mode and you start selling vehicles that you don't need, and then if you if you need to do any recovery fees, then, and then the game's over. You have to completely start over. Are you kidding me? If I have to start over hard mode again, I'm never going to play SnowRunner again, period, because you start from scratch on hard mode. That's what makes it so fun. It's that immersive. Consequences. There are consequences and your heart will start to beat sometimes, but it's a video game. You know, it's only a game. I know some of you are going to say in the comments, well, it's only a game. Yeah, it's only a game. What's your point? Your point is it's only a game. No, it's a lot more than that, but I don't want to get into it right now. So it seems like these are the only tires so far. I was hoping I could get chain tires. But, but I am... Let's see, should I invest in another... Whoa. The wedge cap, compared to the... Yeah, I'm going to get the wedge cap for sure. Sell the stock one. Now, as far as frame add-ons go, log carriers. The front log carrier, which is actually a lot cheaper. So I could do some logging with this. I really could. And let me show let me just show you something in Alaska. We're gonna go look at Alaska too. That's gonna bring this whole video. Sun visor, I really don't want to mess around with that. I've done I've spent really much pretty much way too much money in recovery fees. Whoops. I meant to sell this one. So that's a nice the horn. Quad horns. Hey, why not? 500 bucks. External horn. Sell. Now the stock. We're going to go with the most expensive, of course. Hmm. Muzzle or flat cap? Whatever. Let's just do that one. Sell the stock. The rims. Only one set of rims, that's fine. The color, I suppose I could change the color. Ch uh, the color choices are free on hard mode, just like regular mode. You know, I don't know yet, don't care. So well, let's leave the garage. I'm not really gonna purchase the new engine yet because I don't, I don't know if I wanna use this as a logging truck because I, I just told myself logging is pretty much 
Not worth it? Oh yeah! I need to see if I can sell trailers that I purchase on Hard Mode. This is going to be the, the ultimate test. Then I'll show you Alaska and show you what I've done there. So let's get a cheap one. There's, I think that's the cheapest one. Yeah. So we're gonna, I'm gonna spend, even though I don't need it. This is just experimental money. Buy. All right, now, so I've got it. Trailer store. Installed add-ons or trailers. Oops. Hold on, stop moving. Trailer store. Go to the one that I have. I think it's at the top. Wait, where's the one? Oh, here it is. Destroy! So the only option I have is to destroy it. Which then goes back to what I was saying. Is logging worth it on hard mode if you have to buy the entire setup per map? You know? That's a debate. That is, debate, that is debatable. But it looks like this P16... Let's just detach this. Because I, I just might as well keep it anyway. Maybe one day I will come back to Michigan. But for now, I'm ready to move on. Done with Michigan. Forget, forget it. Michigan has been the most frustrating map since the beginning of this game. Alaska is a lot more relaxing. A lot of snow, that's basically it. It's, it's safer. Safer for vehicles, even though the roads are icy. So let me just look at something here. If I go to the trailer store and I go to log carrier, 14000 bucks. Then you have to spend another 14000 on the on the additional log carrier, whatever, I think that one was for mediums, this one is for long, so that's 28,200 bucks, but it looks like the P-16 has its own log carrier installment, which we all saw was a lot cheaper than 14,000 bucks, so if, if I was to do any logging, this would be the truck I would use. And I would like to find the free upgrade for the engine. Because upgrades, as we all know, are free for the first truck that you use before. Any other trucks that you want, you have to spend money. The first one is free. As we saw... Here, if I spend 13000 bucks or wait for the free one, which is in Alaska, which I need to look at. But the frame add-on... Log carrier, six thousand, and then I, and then I buy the long extension. I don't know. It's just so much money per map to do medium and long logs. Because I don't think medium logs can fit on a long log trailer. Which in real life you think you might happen that way, but not in this game. I don't know. I could be wrong. It probably is that way in real life. Because this game tries to be as realistic as possible. That's why I like it. But for now. I'm gonna think about it. Now, let's look at Alaska. As soon as I get this over here, I'm gonna park it. Stop the engine. Whoops. Go to the global map. Then hit R1 over to Alaska. I've got all of the regional progress done. I could basically say goodbye, Alaska. But I wanted to. What did I want to do with Alaska? Oh yeah, I wanted to show everybody how I found all of the watchtowers, but I still haven't found all the upgrades. So some upgrades are hidden but have to be explored to find, and for that I probably have to go on the YouTube platform to find it, and I'm not that kind of a person that ruins the game experience for me. It's, it's, it's pointless. It, it's makes me think it is what it is though if I, if I really wanted to get that engine like here see the, there's a fuel tanker 
but I haven't really explored this because it's got the fog of war. Maybe there's an upgrade around here. Maybe there's an upgrade over here, where the fog of war is, where it's kind of hard to tell. There, it's easier to tell now. Where I have explored and where I haven't. There's probably a bunch of upgrades here. And then the next one, Alaska, Mountain River. There's probably some upgrades, maybe some here, wherever there's kind of a grayish, where it's not so bright. I just wanted to show everybody that I found pretty much all of the watchtowers. Whoops, this is Drummond Island. Middle finger to Drummond Island. Ugh, what a nightmare. Back to Alaska. Pedro Bay. Yep, I found all the watchtowers here, but there's a lot of stuff still to explore. There's definitely some upgrades for better engines. But, you know... There's so many awesome trucks eventually that you do find in this game. Sometimes it's just, maybe it's just not worth it. Because I gotta think about fuel on hard mode. I'm not gonna really be that picky. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on to this right here, which I've already started exploring. I've got my con, which is spelled K-H-A-N, 39 Marshall, doing that right now. But back to Alaska. Back to the very last step here. As you see, all of the watchtowers have been explored, but the upgrades are not have not all been found, which is kind of cool. It, it, it actually lets a person experience off-road exploration. That's kind of fun, because the graphics are so good anyway. There might be an upgrade around here, but there's no watchtower to tell me where it's at. So there is going to definitely be, there's probably one over here too, but I would need some sort of uh, vehicle to get there. That's cool. So I probably, once I get in a powerful enough vehicle that I can actually go into some deep waters, maybe I'll explore and look for some more upgrades. But I don't really want to go to YouTube and say, okay, this is where this is at. This is where this upgrade is. This is where this is at. This is where this upgrade is. That ruins the experience for me, and I might as well just go play a different game because that, that just, that's not fun for me. Even though, even though it's probably a good idea for me to do that, blah, no thanks. It doesn't become a game at that point. It doesn't be... <laughs> Whatever. So, back to... Back to Michigan. I think I'm done with this video. I don't think there's anything else more to talk about. The P-16 does not belong on Drummond Island. It's too big and bulky. There's too many, too many spots where it can fall and tip over. And if you're on hard mode... It's stupid to recover it. It costs 8,000 bucks. Even if you're on regular mode, it's stupid to recover it because it need, it, this is where it's at. It's on these sides of the bridges. It needs to be over on this side to fix the bridges unless you come in from this way. Island Lake. Let's look at that in a moment. But, but uh, Drummond Island, there's just way too many dangerous spots for that big, giant, bulky, stupid put... I'm sorry. It's not stupid. It's a good truck. But it's just big, so big and stupid and bulky. Let's look at the Caterpillar, which I found in Alaska. This Caterpillar was the only one heavy enough to upright my P-16, which I did flip on its side after driving it for only two minutes. I know. I'm laughing at myself as well. I'm laughing at me too. That That's funny. And to recover it back to Smithfield Dam and then would have been dumb because I didn't have enough fuel for one, one thing. And to drive all the way back to Smith, all the way back to Drummond Island to possibly happen, for it to possibly happen again? No, no, no thanks. Dr Drummond Island on hard mode? If you do play this game on hard mode and you find the P-16, fix two bridges, maybe try all three if you, if you can. But it's a lot of backtracking back and forth. It's, a, it's basically a wild goose chase, scavenger hunt, bunch of nonsense for this big giant vehicle that can't even hardly turn around because it's just so claustrophobic. Drummond Island should be changed to Claustrophobic Island. It's hard to turn around. But this I like. I bought the extra fuel tank for it. Not the extra, yeah, the, which, the, I, there's so much fuel though in Alaska. 
It's ridiculous how much fuel, free fuel there is in Alaska for hard mode players compared to Michigan. So if, if you're stuck on Michigan and you, and you don't want to start over and you only maybe have a few thousand bucks left, take a vehicle, go to Alaska. You will find a lot of nice vehicles in Alaska. And then you, you can recover your game. I've already had to do re, I've already had to restart hard mode once. And that was only after 22 missions. So if you do need to restart hard mode, do it in the very beginning. If I was to have to do restart now on hard mode, I wouldn't even place no runner at all, period. I'd move on to a completely different game find, and find something else to play. One last thing. We need to go, we need to, go to Island Lake. Take a look there. Island Lake looks pretty cool. There's enough fuel around there. The CK-1500 with the fully upgraded engine, which I have. The the large tires, which are, uh, I think, the 39-inch, I believe, or 38-inch. I can't remember which one it is. And they're all chains. And, it, 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 and they give you enough fuel on Island Lake to explore. I want to explore all of the watchtowers. Maybe I get lucky. I just thought of something. I'm going to use this truck where it's at, explore all of this, see if I can find some upgrades, and then go back to Drummond Island, explore it some more, see if I can find some upgrades. That's what it's going to do. So, so the this Chevro Chevrolet CK1500 is going to be the only only truck that I use in Michigan anymore. Maybe I do come back to it later when I find other vehicles from other maps to Drummond Island, to Island Lake to maybe finish finish the third. Um, main one of the, there's three main main missions, as everybody saw. Four, four, right here the regional progress. I don't know what if, what all three of them were for. I think it's mandatory for other maps. I don't know yet. I'm not very experienced with this game. I don't even know if I need to do it. But Alaska, I have accomplished all three. Here I am in Timir. I believe that's how you pronounce it. In Russia, which is very very cool gonna be cool I finally finally got to that point I've, ex I've explored it let's go take a look this is all I've explored so far but I'm using the this one here which is made for Russia it's the DLC Scout which I got with my pre-order it's a nice vehicle definitely worth the investment so let's go let's look at Island Lake one more time because I was talking about it the Chevrolet CK1500 does quite well here. It's not that really big of a map, but it's a slow crawl. Until I find a more powerful vehicle. But for right now, this it's doing its job. It's, it's able to pretty much stick to these roads, and I'm okay. There's got to be another upgrade here that I can use. I'm hoping it's one, for one of the trucks that I have right now. So far, the upgrades that I've found have not been from trucks that I have. It's been kind of annoying. Here, I need to go visit this... Um, Looks like a, a small but large farm or a small town. That's what I meant. Yeah. So right now it's almost three o'clock in the morning in this game, and it's saving it for me. It, this game automatically saves for you. You cannot save your own game. I don't think. Let's look. If I hit the settings button, yeah, there's no way for me to save my game. The game saves it for you. So in other words, on hard mode. Whatever happens, happens. You deal with it. It's permanent. You either deal with it or restart your game from scratch. <laughs> That's so funny for me to say. Because it's taken me literally about a, a month real time to get to this point. Who would want to start over and play, continue playing SnowRunner? So it's very, very hard at the beginning to get to the point, get to a point where one mission, where if you flip your truck, the game's over, you got to restart. Or one mission must successfully be fail or, or succeed or fail is the difference between starting over completely from scratch. That's when it gets intense. That's when you start to have this feeling of, wow, this game is actually doing this to me. That's pretty cool for a game to be able to do that to a person. That's amazing. The graphics are awesome in this game. The immersion is awesome on hard mode. The regular version of this game, I played it for about six or seven days. I got bored of it, and then I was ready to move on to a completely different game, like golf or something. 
<laughs> but then I thought, wait, there's a hard mode to this game. When I first, then I did my research, I found out what hard mode is all about, I tried it out, it turns out I like it a lot, it's a completely different game, just like the regular version of this game, Farming Simulator, Simulator 19, Seasons is com a completely different game, it's, it's the same, it's the same type of thing for, for SnowRunner, it's, it's a completely different game, and, I, and you know, for those that have played this game since day one, and they've played the regular version, and they've gotten really, really far, and you don't want to start over completely from scratch and play hard mode, I understand that. But you should try it out anyway. Because you already know what to do. You just do it. I can understand though if you don't want to. But I've seen players on the regular version of this game with like $232 million that only rank 23. What? That is because on the regular version of this game money is so prevalent everything you buy you sell back for the exact same cost that it cost you you can sell all trailers that you find fuel is free this is free everything's free everything that's good starting out for people but but if you really want to play a real game a real game of snow runner and not i'm what i'm what i mean by real that's not really a good word i'm gonna a better experience with snow runner play hard mode Unless, of course, like I said, you've got your 500 million bucks, because I think some of you do. That's just because money is basically grows on trees on the regular version of this game. Whereas hard mode, whew, now there's consequences. Anyway, have a great day, everybody. I hope, you I hope you've learned something. I hope you have learned something. And as I always say, have a great day.